human behavior the new solo single by bjork it's taken from her forthcoming lp debut we've had a preview of some of the album it's very good and very different and we're hoping to get bjork into the studio to talk to us about it this is multi-track three with sarah ward coming to you in the bbc world service <laughs> In a few minutes, we'll be meeting Mark E. Smith, leader of The Fall, after we hear this track, Lady Bird, from The Fall's new album, The Infotainment Scan. And there's a big concert going down in this town. People can't see it, say it's here, it's broken down. I said it up on the green grass, but it just brought me down. And the wife said, get up, and it just brought me round. Lady Bird. The Fall are now into their 17th year as Britain's most uncompromising alternative band. This year has been one of their best years. Their new album, The Infotainment Scan, has been the first ever top 10 British album. It's also their first for a new record company, Permanent Records. Mark E. Smith is the band's leader and singer, and Nick Reynolds managed to talk to him through a link up with the BBC's Manchester studios. They talked first about the LP's title, Infotainment is an American word which means a cross between entertainment and information. It's a word which is often used to describe television programs which combine fiction and fact. And Nick asked Mark to explain the title a bit more. Well, I, th I think in uh, Europe in general, it's just um, entertainment masquerading as news, really. In all of Europe, you know, all, all the channels of TV and radio, 
it's all like um, it's like uh, crime or riots. Once well, used to be reportage is now sort of in between. You know, it's, it's like sort of titillating. It's it's also very prurient as well. So you think the problem is that people get confused as to whether they're watching yeah, news or yeah, or or, 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 a, or a show. Yeah, I think it should be made quite clear. You know, does that idea fit in with what I sense is a theme on the album, which is there's a lot of stuff about the early seventies. There's a lot of stuff where you seem to be criticising. Well, it's retro, yeah. There's a load of old rubbish. You turn on the TV now, and I'm seeing things that I saw when I was 16, you know. Uh, groups, for instance. Because it's cheap TV, you know. And it's cheap uh, radio, you know. You know, there's a lot of uh, music being played now that, that was rubbish at the time, and it's rubbish now, you know. And, uh, but because it's, like, looked at through rose-coloured glasses, you know, it's, for some reason it's supposed to be good. One of the, the best lines on the album is a reference to the look back bores. Presumably that's what yeah. you're getting at with there. Yeah, well, you've got um, a lot of people in the mid-30s, like myself, who are now in charge of the media, you know. And they want to hear what they what, heard. What, what, they, what they liked when they were 16 or 17. <laughs> Talking about um, people in their early 30s, uh, let's talk about the track Paranoia Man, yeah. which has a reference to a man in his early 30s and in his 50s as well. Yeah. Is that based on anyone in particular, or is it just general observation? That, uh, yeah, the latter, really. You just see a lot of them walking around. If you, if you go to these revival discos, there's, there's a load of uh, blokes uh, who are like that, you know, and um, I don't, I'm not blaming them. I, I was reading this psychiatric book, actually, that's what sparked me off, and it said that most paranoics are, uh, are in the from the age of 33 to 38, which is uh, the sort of uh, bracket I'm in. <laughs> so all you 34 to 38 year old men out there, don't worry. What actually motivates you? I mean, how, what, what is the driving thing about what you do, about the fall that, that makes you want to get up out of bed in the morning and, you know, carry on doing it? Well, I just feel like uh, I've got to continue, you know, because, uh, you know, it's like uh, what I said, I've got to monitor the situation. You know, it's, it's too much to... Uh, retro music around, there's too much, you know, so-called experimental music around, and it just doesn't kick off. I mean, our audiences are getting younger and younger, so we must be doing something right, you know. I mean, there's still the, the old guard there, but, you know, it's, uh, like people, when we go on tour, people always go, well, the, these, this group's in the top ten and they don't get any audiences, but our, our shows are always packed out, you know. I mean, and it's, some people, I'm, I'm old enough to be the father, you know, they, re they really are excited by it, you know is the main thing and also i just got this it, compulsion to keep writing lyrics you know <laughs> Thirty-two, forty-five, we 
Paranoia Man in Cheap Room from the Falls' excellent album, The Infotainment Scan, 